Can someone tally up how many times I say the word affiliate in this video? Girl. You guys, the time has come for us to talk about affiliate marketing. Ever since I launched my video sharing how much money I'm making with 200,000 subscribers, I've received a ton, a ton of questions asking what is affiliate marketing, how to get started, what platforms I'm a part of, or what affiliate marketing networks I'm a part of, as well as what is my strategy? How have I been able to make as much money as I am making $13,643 with just that one income stream? So today I'm gonna be breaking it down for you guys I'm gonna be sharing my exact strategy so if you want to get started with affiliate marketing or if you want to make more money with affiliate marketing keep on watching so what the heck is affiliate marketing basically you will become an affiliate of companies or products that you really really like and enjoy or I mean, you could become an affiliate of products that you don't like and enjoy, but I would never recommend that. And that's not part of my strategy, which is the point of this video. But someone else has a product or service that you like and enjoy and you would recommend in your YouTube videos, or let's say you're a blogger and you recommend it on your blog post. When you link to whatever that product or service is, you can have an affiliate link, which is a custom trackable link. It is unique to you. And when someone clicks on that link and completes a sale or has a successful conversion, you will receive a small commission. So for me, like, all of my camera gear and products and stuff. You guys know that I recommend that to you guys. I use it. I love it. I am happy to recommend it to you. And I use affiliate links in the description bar of my videos. So if you guys ever actually purchase anything that I recommend, I do receive a small commission for it. A small commission. What the heck does that mean? So each company and each program that you're a part of is going to be different. And even under affiliate marketing networks, which I'm going to explain here in a second, each company under the affiliate marketing network can be different. And it could mean a percentage of the sale. So let's say it's 5%, maybe it's 50% of a sale. And let me actually give you guys a real example. So for my paid products, I actually have an affiliate marketing program. So if you guys have ever purchased my paid products, whether that is a blow it up blueprint, my Lightroom presets, if you've ever purchased any of my paid products, you can become an affiliate of them and I will give you 50% of every successful referral. So let's say you referred someone to my content calendar, which I think is $18. If you referred someone to my content calendar and someone actually signed up for it and purchased it, you would get $9 because my commission is 50%. And that's the way that some companies work is based on a, a percentage of the sale. So that's one way that they do it. The other way that they do it is they will give you a flat rate. And this actually only happens with certain things. Like it only happened for me for two of the things that I am a part of where I will get a flat rate and it can be as low as let's say like 50 cents per successful sale or lead, or it could be way up to like 80, $100 per successful sale or referral. So it's a great way to make passive income because obviously if you include the links in the description bar of your videos, and then let's say five months down the line, that video takes off, it gets a ton of views and you're specifically recommending one product in that video, people click on your affiliate link, complete those sales, you're going to receive a commission for something that you did a long time ago. Passive income is so, so great. But the other thing is, I think a lot of people overlook affiliate marketing because especially if you're trying to become a YouTuber, you know, oh, I'm gonna make a lot of money from ads. So I'm gonna hit my 1,000 subscribers, my 4,000 watch hours that I'm going to get monetized on YouTube when in reality, you could actually be making money sooner if you got started with affiliate marketing. And if you need more convincing to get started with affiliate marketing, it is actually my most profitable income stream. So you guys know with my ads revenue, I'm very transparent with that. I share every single month how much money I'm making. And even just this last month, I made $9,800 from my ads revenue. But in total of 2020 so far, which is January through August, I didn't include September because I haven't had my payouts yet. Affiliate marketing has made me the most money and it's made me $44,000 in just those eight months alone. And to be fully transparent with you guys, that little income thing that I shared with you, that was actually a screenshot taken from my QuickBooks, but I did exclude two of my income streams. One, client work. I, I, I made like barely any money in client work because the only month I did it was January in 2020. So... That's not really a thing. And then the other thing is sponsorships. I can't legally share how much money I'm making from sponsorships. So those are just three of my income streams that I wanted to show you guys to compare, but affiliate marketing is still the top number one income stream for me. 
And to break it down even more, you guys know I'm a stats person. I absolutely love this stuff. In July, I ended up making $7,627 for my affiliate marketing. And in August, I made $11,628. So affiliate marketing can seriously become a powerhouse. It is a kind of set it and leave it strategy. So for every video you are creating, if you are talking about something that you can link to in your description bar, or if you can just have a set list of links down there, it's such a great long-term strategy. With affiliate marketing, you're not going to be making money right away, especially because of some affiliate marketing networks. The payout date, it can take a while. And let me actually just explain that a little bit better, like what are affiliate marketing networks and how you can get started. And then we'll talk about the payout and all of that. I am actually a part of two different affiliate marketing networks. And basically these networks, what that means is companies can join, influencers can join, and it's it's a way to connect companies with influencers and influencers with companies. So there are networks that have hundreds if not thousands of companies that are a part of them and then you just have to join that network. I am a part of two. The very first one is Share a Sale. That is the one that I got started with. Like my affiliate marketing got started on Share a Sale and it's a really great platform. The one thing I will say is that the website needs updated. Like it is out of date, but it works really, really well. And there are a lot of companies within that network that you can become an affiliate of. So I do recommend share a sale. And then the other one I am a part of is reward style. So a lot of you guys, especially if you are on Instagram, you follow beauty or fashion bloggers on Instagram. They use like to know it. Yeah, that's reward style. So I am also a part of reward style, which actually Oh my gosh, it works so, so freaking well. So they have this plugin called Link Ninja or they have this extension called Link Ninja. And if you're not sure if certain sites will have links or if you're not sure that you can become an affiliate to certain sites, you can go to that site, click on the Link Ninja and it will actually come up with a link if it is like you can become an affiliate of it or if it's not, it will tell you that you can't. But reward style is seriously a game changer. I just joined them at the beginning of 2020 and I have absolutely loved it. I want to let you guys in on a little secret. You know, big companies that you shop at, you know, you love, you use such as Amazon, Target, say like Best Buy, Home Depot, Lowe's, like those big companies that you guys buy things from and you want to link to, but you don't want to become an affiliate of each of those individual sites. And I don't even know if that's possible, but with reward style, it is possible using their link ninja thing. I'm telling you guys, like, this is not sponsored by Reward Style. I'm not an affiliate of Reward Style. I just really, really like this platform and I want you guys to give it a try. Like, I should have joined it sooner. I, I really should have joined it sooner. And the benefit to using a platform such as Share a Sale or Reward Style is that you can get access to a bunch of different companies, but also you only have one payout. So I can link to a bunch of different things under reward style, but it all gets paid out at one time. So it's not like I am getting all of these random payments. It's just one chunk payment. But the one thing I will say is, especially with reward style, is that the payout date is really, really long. So when someone completes a successful purchase, obviously, if they are getting a physical product, like let's say I recommended this notebook right here. If you guys got this notebook and you didn't like it and you wanted to return it, I then wouldn't get the commission for this notebook. So yes, it would originally click and say, yes, you have this commission, but then if someone returns it, that money is then deducted. So for some platforms, the payout on the sales that you are making. So let's say I was making sales right now in September. I linked to something in the description bar. You guys clicked on it, completed a successful sale. Some platforms, some networks, you might not actually see that money for months, meaning sale completed in September, I could not see actually until January of the next year. So affiliate marketing is definitely a long-term strategy, especially when you think about it in that way. But the other reason why it's a long-term strategy is because with every single video you are creating, with every single piece of content you are creating, if you include affiliate links in there, that link is forever there. And there's always an opportunity for someone to click on that link. So let's say you only have one YouTube video and you've got one link included in that YouTube video. You obviously don't have as much of an opportunity to get a successful sale compared to, I have, I think like over 200 some videos on my channel at this point, and almost all of them have affiliate links in them. So I have a larger opportunity to make money. But the other way that you can get started with affiliate marketing, you do not need to use those affiliate marketing networks. I just recommend it because 
then you get access to more companies. And like I said, the payout is so, so much easier. But there's also another option where if you have a company that you really like and you just wanna see if they have an affiliate marketing program, they may work individually on their own. So you can go to Google, you can search for that company and type in affiliate program and see if an affiliate program pops up. If they do not have one, you can contact them directly. But honestly, I would check out affiliate marketing networks because a lot of companies are a part of them. With all the basics and logistics out of the way, if you are at the point where you're like, yes, I wanna get started with affiliate marketing, I would recommend creating a list of the companies that you would wanna become an affiliate of, products and services that you honestly love and use that you could recommend to your audience and just get started there. Start going to Google, seeing if there are affiliate marketing networks that you want to join and I'm sure that there are more affiliate marketing networks out there. I know that there are, there's just two that I'm a part of and I obviously don't want to shout out other ones. Actually, I don't even no other ones, but I just know that they exist. So I told you guys about the two that I use. If you want to find more, search for it on Google. But like I said, if you like Amazon, if you like Target, Reward Style is a great place for you to get started because you can link to both of those websites. But now we are at the point in time where I want to discuss my strategy with you guys. I want to talk about how I've been able to do what I have done with my affiliate marketing because the last video that I filmed talking about affiliate marketing, it was back in November. And in that video, I was making about $400 a month with affiliate marketing. Times have obviously changed and one of the things that has helped me to make more money with my affiliate marketing is that I have a larger audience. I have more people watching my videos and more of an opportunity for people to actually see my links and click on them in the description bar down below. But besides that, I actually have an affiliate marketing strategy. I feel like back then, yes, I thought about the links that I was including, but I just felt like my strategy really wasn't there and I've upped it since then because I've realized how powerful of an income stream it can be. So let's get to my strategy. And I actually, I've, I've got some notes written down. Of course I have some notes written down. So the very first thing that I think about, I'm really, really picky with what I recommend to you guys. And you may already notice this, like when it comes to sponsorships and stuff, I am so, so incredibly picky on my sponsorships. I am also incredibly picky on the companies that I am an affiliate of, the products that I am an affiliate of or that I link to in my videos because your guys' trust is absolutely everything. If I recommended a product or a service and you guys signed up for it and you actually thought it was crap and that it just like wasn't good at all, I would lose that trust and it's just not worth it for me to receive a small commission, make a couple of cents. Like it's just not worth it. And even when, oh, I can't reach them. Hold please. When I recommended or when I mentioned these blue light glasses in my YouTube video here recently, I mentioned that they're flimsy because I didn't want you guys to get these glasses and realize, oh, these are not really sturdy, high quality glasses. Like I mentioned in the video that they are not that sturdy they're pretty flimsy and honestly cheap, but they're great and they're cute and I really like them. So I'm going to recommend them to you guys, but I am really picky on the things that I share with you guys, as well as I try to leave in more details when I am recommending a product so you guys know exactly what you are getting. I wouldn't want you guys to get something and be disappointed and then not trust me in the future. Hand in hand with that, I recommend products. I recommend services and stuff that I am actually not an affiliate of, which again, it was actually in the exact same video that I mentioned these blue light glasses. I shared that I use monday.com. I'm not an affiliate of monday.com. I've never been sponsored by monday.com. If you want to work together, that would be awesome. But I recommend companies and products that I am not an affiliate of because I want to build that trust with you guys. I want you guys to know that I'm not recommending things just because I could receive a small commission, just because I'm getting paid. That, that's not why I recommend things. Like I'm going to recommend things to you guys that I honestly love and use. So if it is something, for example, like this laptop stand right here, I get a lot of questions on it. I absolutely love it. And I would recommend this to you guys because I love it, but I would recommend it to you whether I was receiving a commission or not. And I think that's really, really important. Don't get stuck in only recommending products or services because it's sponsored or because you could receive a commission. Make sure that you are also recommending things that there is nothing coming back to you. The next thing that I do is I continue to mention things several times. 
over and over and over and over again. And the reason why is because one, there's a lot of people that don't watch all of my videos. Obviously, I don't expect every one of you to watch every single one of my videos. Like you could be more picky and you only watch a select few and that's totally fine. So if I only mention a product once, there's a high probability that a lot of people in my audience are not going to see it. So if I keep mentioning it over and over again, there's a better chance of me actually getting a successful sale. But the other thing is sometimes like, People don't take recommendations if they just hear it once. They need to see it over and over again to actually be like, hey, you know what? I'm going to check that out. Next up, what do we got? Ooh, create videos where I can make an affiliate commission. And this is something that I feel like I didn't do a while back. I wasn't creating videos specifically with the thought of, oh, this is going to drive affiliate marketing sales. And guys, let me just like put this into perspective for you. So I have my own paid products, but obviously there are other companies out there that have products that wanna make sales. And there's a thing called marketing ever heard of it. <laughs> that was so stupid. Okay. Companies use marketing to obviously complete sales, to get their name out there, to get their product out there so that they can have a successful product. And the same thing goes with my products. I try to strategically make videos that then can relate to my paid products so that it's top of mind for you guys. And so that I drive sales. This is my full-time job. I need to find a way to make money. So with affiliate marketing, the exact same thing happens. I try to create videos that I know are going to drive affiliate marketing sales so that I can continue to do this as my full-time job. You guys have probably seen these videos. If you haven't, I don't know what you're doing, but there are a ton of YouTubers creating videos about things on Amazon that they love that you need to have. I recently watched one about Amazon home decor and I was like, oh my gosh, Amazon has such good home decor, you know? Those videos are great, great to drive affiliate marketing sales. And I know that like you can do this in any niche guys, absolutely any niche. So create specific videos, I would say at least one a month that is intended to drive those affiliate marketing sales. Tell your audience in the video that there is a link in the description. Now, I obviously, I don't do this in every single one of my videos and I would say about, like if you're watching my videos, 75% of my videos, I don't say that there are affiliate links in the description bar down below, but if I am creating a video specific to something that I am recommending. So let's say even on my vlog channel, if I am doing a haul, I will say there's a link to these things in the description bar down below because that triggers my audience to actually look down there and click on those links and then hopefully buy something if they are interested in it. If they're not interested in it, they can just take a look at it online and it's no harm to anyone. But telling your audience that those links are down there is so, so helpful. No one is going to know if you don't tell them. But here's the important thing with affiliate marketing. I feel like I'm talking about it in a way like you're trying to convince your subscribers to buy something. I only recommend products that I love and I realize that one of like one of the things about being an influencer in general is trying out different products and recommending it to your audience. I go to influencers to see what products they are using, what they like, so then I know what to buy. It's like getting a recommendation from a friend. So when I am talking about these blue light glasses and recommending them to you guys, it's not because I want to make money from it, it's because I honestly like these glasses and if you're looking for blue light glasses, I'm going to recommend them to you. So it's not all about the making money side of it and I don't want you guys to get that from this video. I just want you guys to know how you can obviously use affiliate marketing to make money. But the like major tip I would recommend you guys, I already said it, only recommend the things that you actually love. Don't just start recommending things that you're like, oh, I can just randomly link to this and I can just randomly link to this and then I'm gonna be making money. You're going to lose the trust of your audience and the trust of your audience is absolutely everything and it like do not put anything above that. So I'm hoping that you guys found it helpful. I did not talk about even disclaimers in this video, but you do need to disclose that you have affiliate links in your description bar. I actually mentioned that in the other video. So if you want to watch that, I will include that in the description bar down below. That's not an affiliate link, but I mean, it's still something I can include in the description bar. So honestly, just like I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. I feel like I've rambled, talked a lot about affiliate marketing. I like it, I love it, but I don't know what else I can share at this point. So I'm hoping that you guys liked this video and found it helpful. I'm hoping that you learned something. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. And I will see you guys back here on Tuesday with another video. Wow, I just like really went off there and we have got a storm coming through Alabama and it just got really dark. So yeah, okay, bye guys. <laughs>
affiliate marketing. Talk about how you can make more money with affiliate marketing. Sign up for a tree? Sign up for a tree. I just said sign up for a tree. I don't like any of that. That's terrible. And I feel like that's really stupid. We're, 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 we're gonna fix this. 